Let's go! And we're going to see what? Well, you wanted that I explain the map. This is the first game. And the uh, NBL will be red. ACCM will be blue. Double TC. And they have done a big change. They put both TCs. I think the game I saw it was one TC in the south, another TC in the north. Remember that the walls? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they have switched that. It was like cross, crossing. Double TC with Berbers and you have the short fish here under the TC in both. So it's not that complicated. They start with a lot more villages. This is for me the most unnecessary map. I will never understand why you put in a competitive tournament like this a double TC start. I don't understand. For me, it doesn't make any sense. Double TC it should be for a specific tournaments with these settings, in my opinion, obviously, you know? In my opinion, because, uh, well, it's, it's like a completely different approach, you know? These walls, you cannot see them. Look. Okay. You have to explore. And then when you see them, you, yeah. You want to explore, but it's higher walls. So you need to probably break it. 300 HP, and then you can cross to one side or the other. Yeah, population. One ahead for for ACCM because he is with cheaper values. Able to keep the no... Yeah, the no loom. Perfect. And this is now five values on wood. Okay. For the guy that was asking about uh, what series to cast, and now series... I was joking before, don't get too mad. Probably he, he, loved, he left the channel already. Hopefully he didn't, but... Um, I really believe that in theory, MBL and ACCM should be a much better series. Obviously, if Tatot and Vivi are going to play uh, both their best, it can be insane too, but I don't trust BB. I don't trust BB uh, performance. Anyway, for those that really want to see, remember that... I'm a professional caster. And what mean that? Well, it means that from time to time, when there is something very interesting, I will click one button. You know? I will click one button, guys. And you will see what, guys? You will see this. When I click one button. You know? You will see that Fat Dragon and Tatot are 0-0. Zero, zero, and they are playing already with not too much going on okay so i will show you absolutely everything absolutely everything as you can imagine okay so i will be i will be showing you all all the cities at some point i will be keeping an eye i have another monitor you know and well that's it i mean it's not the same we're gonna focus completely in these cities but when there is some important moments, I can really show you th those, you know? Yeah. Well, oh, MBL is walling. Okay. So the players are walling already. About civilizations, I think both are very good. Uh, Berbers and Hindustanis are very solid. And I'm thinking what I prefer, and I probably prefer Berbers. Because if you get some good economy, Berbers, cheaper knights, and camels in this case, because if you play against Hindustan, you probably want to be camels. Yeah, it's nice, man. Okay. Well, for now, you can see the villages. 8 on wood, 20 on foot, 5 on gold is similar approach. Very similar, but MBL about to lose the scout. He's gonna save it. Okay. Are they going to go... Yeah, fast castle. It's fast castle. Look at the resources. There is a lot of food being dropped by those hunters. You know? Oh, house it is really bad. It is really bad. 
He's doing the house now, but you don't want to be housed, man. You really don't want to be housed. Uh, look at those scout. He's going to walk completely. Okay, sorry, my son won't that I set up for him the the Nintendo and he always come when I'm already casting. My goodness. Um guys, the players walling up absolutely everything all the map. Absolutely everything all the map. So with the double TC, they are obviously not gonna do so much damage. It's doing the market and I I I I I I Well it's well and all but the ACCM is already going up much faster and that should be really really great. He has only one stable? Yes. MBL has the stable in what side? MBL has no stable at all are you serious he's doing the blast myth i don't know what is he planning to do then he's up now quite slower thank you for the prime man amazing and honestly i prefer accm position double stable going to be faster remember that these camels just uh, take the buildings crazy He's doing what? Four villages on stone? And he's gonna go a castle and camel archers? Is this a good approach for MBL? We will find out. We will really find out. Okay, he's doing the camels now. With great resources. No double attacks for MBL. He forgot. And the walls, the walls are really disgusting, man. Look at the walls he's doing. Like... He can wall like this. Yeah, well, but he didn't explore. Look at the walls he's doing with three, four, five, six villages walling, man. Holy shit, man. It's crazy. Well, it's not the best gameplay. It's really not the best gameplay. And well, I can show you guys that since there's not big battle, you see how Fat Dragon is already losing the first game. Okay? Losing first game. And, uh, well, 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 it's what it is, you know, it's what it is. So, Tatitot is winning 1-0 really fast and clear versus Vivi. Fast and unpredictable. Yeah. Tatitot was with Saracens, I'm not wrong, versus Gurjara as well. Anyway, now we check how he's with Camel trying to get inside. He has four, six, the list is almost the same. And MBL is doing a castle at home, playing incredibly defensive. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm still not doing any damage and another TC. It's crazy that uh, the players with a map like this still manage to, to go this kind of gameplay. And now my question is... Why MBL hates so much Arena if in 80% of the games that we see from him, he's doing these walls? I know it's not the same as Arena, but at the end, well, you're going for extra TCs. He's doing the castle. You could do this strategy on Arena. I don't understand, you know? I really don't understand, you know? We will never know. That's true, Tendo. And... Then he's not motivated because he preferred to walk himself. I agree. I agree. He can't wall in arena. All right. <laughs> well, ACCM is doing the same too. But yeah, but he doesn't hate arena. He loves arena. All right. Well, we're watching. Uh, if ACCM is going to be able to be inside or not, which is not happening. But Hindustani's economy should be stronger soon. Very, very soon.
Fletching is not converting with a monk. Why? I don't know. I don't know why he's not converting. And he convert now that camel. Very interesting, guys. Very, very interesting. Still lazy CM with a lot of gold, as you can see. He could balance that economy. A second castle? What the hell is this? I really believe that... I don't know, like... ACCM should have a much better economy. He has 30 farmers, 9 on goal. He's doing wheelbarrow now. He should make bows, so heavy plow. If you are mining that much stone, you should be behind. Let me just check in the economy. <clears throat> ACCM has 700 more food, 400 more wood, and more gold. Like, obviously, he does have a stone. Now he convert one and he's gonna take the monk. He's going to go back. Great multitasking at ACCM. Amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, more camels are coming. And now my question is, is gonna come Siege? He's just gonna go... What? I believe ACCM just need to go up to Imperial. His economy, even if it's only four villages, more, should be much better. Like, really much better. But... He's gonna make a third castle, MBL. A third castle. And now, he's gonna break this palisade in a second. Very fast. Really, really fast. Third castle is coming. And this is gonna break it, yeah, in a real moment. He won't be able to defend that one. Yeah, he's gonna break in. And now, let's see those camels. Yeah, he's doing all the upgrades. I prefer this approach by a lot. Obviously, if he's not doing big damage, man, he's still walling more. Wow. Super defensive gameplay. That's crazy. Who is this? Nexus Fish. Amigo. Thank you for the prime, man. Awesome. Really awesome. Well, his score is increased. Walter, do you still think that he's going to be 3-0 clear for MBL? I mean, play like this, I'm not so sure. He's even doing chain bard in armor. I don't know if this is needed. But, uh, okay. Yeah, he's gonna take the villains now. Those camels are gonna do the job. He's gonna kill villains. And I don't know what you think, but this is starting to look like the first game for AZCM. He's having a lot more villains, as you can see. He's losing some, but he's taking some of those. Thank you. Bambi! Bambi! Bambi has subscribed. Bambi is real, Dad. Oh, man. Bambi is real, Dad. <laughs> I'm, I'm emotional, man. I'm really emotional. Bambi is real, Dad. A subscription. Unbelievable. Seriously. Oh, man. Well. And the three villages, 20 army. ACCM with the total domination mode activated. A lot of army for ACCM. 11 for... MBL, who is going to have another castle. But now it's time for himself to make a castle. He's going to make it there. Well, this is a lot of camels. He's going to take those. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the game number one for ACCM. He's losing some units, but he took all those camel archers. And I really don't know what MBL is trying in this game. Seriously, don't know. Seriously, don't know. Anyway, hunt card, forging. Might lose one or two villages. That's okay. It's not terrible. The castle is perfect. And what he really need now. What the hell? Fourth castle here by MBL. Yeah. Well. This castle is good. ACCM only need to go up to Imperial. It's true that MBL. Look at the food he has. Look at the wood. He's gonna sell all the wood to go up. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. If MBL is winning this game... I will ban Walter the Conqueror for my channel, guys. Remember what I said. If MBL is winning this game, I'm gonna ban Walter the Conqueror from my channel right away, you know? Right away. I will ban my moderator. Unbelievable! Gold at mining. Population for ACCM is still insanely good. Really, really good. And what you need to do... Oh, man! He's going armored elephants. Man, he's going to destroy that castle. Armored elephants and camels 
He's just gonna go and raid more. Pozo. And now, just go there, man. Yeah. Just go there and kill Vilius. It's gonna take a lot of Vilius here. Now, this is game. This is game over. It's impossible. I mean, if he's up to Imperial, you know? Just send the elephants and kill that castle now. Yeah. I look at the economy. It's, it's completely GG. It has almost 30 villages more. He has more army. Uh, map control. Coming with more camels. I know that he did now the bloodlines, but... Eh, it's dif difficult, man. Another village down. And right now... Well... The domination is going to be real. Doesn't really matter the timing in Imperial, in my opinion. It doesn't matter too much. It's gonna make another castle. And this has been extremely, extremely defensive. The Camelaches are doing a good job. He's with Ballistic and Botkin now. But the castle is gonna be on top of that hill. And now the elephants are used coming. Yeah. He's walling more, but... What matters here is not the wall in is... Yeah, just kill the castle. Take the castle with the camels. No? Just kill it, man. Okay? It's not. It's, it's just taking a lot more damage. What the hell? The score is still lazy in my head. He has 34 villages more. 34 villages more. Castle is down. And now... Well, population difference is insane. As you can see. As you can see, guys, why I said about... Hey, if, he's, if MBL is winning this game, I ban Walter the Conqueror. That is a current moderator in my channel. I, I feel that uh, it should be impossible, you know. MBL keep trying because he's really, really a try hard. But when now he reach Imp, he will have a much better economy. Like a much better economy. Heavy camels, plus four, you know. They are... Potentially Imperial Camels is so difficult, man. Really, really difficult. Yeah, he's going back now. Well, he has the plus three. He has the chemistry. He's missing armor. He's missing elite. And this has been for a double TC start. One of the slowest game ever I have seen in a double TC one. Because... Of the gameplay proposed here by MBL, all in all, doing two castles. I mean, doing two castles in theory is just be... You're going to be behind in economy, like, all the time. And since Hindustanis are already a, a strong civilization... Yeah, well... He's gonna try to repair that castle, maybe, to, to get some time, yeah. He has the hills, also those trebuchets are not doing the same, the same damage. Lead Camel Archer, Leather Archer Armor. Yeah, he's, he's taking all with those camels with the plus four. Yeah, it's a disappointing game. 200 population and AC ACCM has just dominated MBL big time in this one. The strategy by MBL was really, really poor. And you can see how... Yeah, it's, it's GG completely. It's completely GG. MBL can't do anything at all. Anything at all. So, well... Yeah, it's over, guys. It's really over. It's completely over. Yeah. I mean, he's not giving up. But those camels, when they are going to be in, he will have to walk here too. Why well, he's not going in? He could go. Yeah, it's hard to cast this because look at this. Yeah. I mean, it's Imperial Camels, guys. Imperial Camels, where they, they are Elite Camel Arches missing one armor, but those Imperial Camels GG call ACCM. Total and Brutal Domination, guys. Total and Brutal Domination. Not, not that surprising to me, because ACCM is playing just very, very solid.
for a really long time. And if you are playing these kind of strategies, it's not going to work. And we need to play aggressive against him. Honestly, at this point, if ACCM and NBL are playing meta games, I think I think ACCM is ahead to NBL. NBL need to do some of his crazy approach, and this one wasn't definitely a crazy approach at all. The difference was 9,000 resources, was a boring game because the map is a boring one, but uh, obviously with the Hindustanis and with the Imperial Camels, even if you are in Imperial Age slower, doesn't matter. Your economy was much better. Game number two. There's no time to wait, guys. There's no time to wait. Mayans and Bohemian, Reign of Reeds, is going to be now. Yeah. It's not to me. That wasn't my game. For me, the game is going perfect. That was Orlu stream. So, definitely not. Let's see if the Mayans now is going to be picked here. And we can get into the game. Thank you, AoE Fired. Yes, we are in the game now. Let's go. Mem jam, mem jam, mem jam, vamos. And we are moving into game number two. NBL has now the Mayans. ACCM has Bohemians. Very interesting matchup. And I believe that ACCM has a better one in this one. Like... Depend how aggressive you played, but if you go aggressive with Bohemians, what the Mayans can do, right? What the Mayans can do, I mean, I don't know. What logo? Yeah, let me just go and check. Let me just go and check a little bit. And I'll show you the overlay. Why I really think that, in my opinion, uh, right now, I prefer Bohemians in this kind of map. I don't know. Obviously, the execution is so important. Do we have the overlay or not? Not really. It's not working when I... Give me a sec. Just give me a sec. Okay, now it should work. Maybe not. Okay. Is Mayans and Bohemians? Come on. No, Bohemians and Mayans. Okay, they're there. And you got the overlay now. Perfect. Well. This civilization, Bohemians, has a great, great economy. Crazy. With the gold and the stone for free. The gold sub mining and stone sub mining is crazy. And then, if you go with Fervor, it's crazy as well, you know? Crazy. Thank you so much, man. Amazing Shit. caster. Thank you for all the entertainment and the love for this game. Thank you so much, amigo. We have almost 1,000 viewers and we are only in game number two. So let's hope that now today, Sunday, we can go for the over 2K and make AoE2 what it deserves to be. I mean, we need to put AoE2 guys into the, you know, into the haven of the games. Remember that these live games, as you can see in the logo, and well, this map is a custom map, Ring of the Reeds, with shortfish here. Also, we have puddles of water here with fish. You don't make dogs in this area. So, mills is the way to go. My question is, why MBL is going to the mill that far? I don't know. Why he's not doing here? I don't know either. Why too far? I, is, I still insist. I have no idea. Yeah, and Blue can see it. This is, makes a lot more sense. A mill... Taking the short fish close to the gate. Why he's not going here? To the mill. And he's going that far. I don't know. It's weird. Very weird. Anyway. ACCM has killed the boar with the town center. <laughs> I can't really believe 
I can't really believe that the players keep doing this. I'm going to show you again. I mean, seriously. Guys. And he shoot with one arrow! Oh my god! He shoot with one arrow with one value that he put in the TC, did you see? I was like, this has to be something weird. And he shoot with one fucking arrow, man. Aye, 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 aye. Well, well, and more well. It's even worse than I expected. Because he shoot with one arrow, man. Unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Unbelievable. Anyway, 340 foot less. You know? So, it's gonna have more points to go fast, Casta, but not too much because the surface is amazing. Really, really amazing. He should go to this middle, probably. At least did yesterday an incredible approach. Walling all this area and taking all this food. But they are not doing any of this. We see how MBL is doing the Obama, the barrack. And he's trying to go and take the shorefish, probably. The eagle is here, and also the ships, or one ship is bye-bye. Really, really bye-bye. Blue is doing malicious, but that he has economy? Eh. No, he doesn't have economy. Not at all. And red is doing malicious as well. He has the eagle, but he also still has the scout. Scout that is behind, you know, behind him. Now we understand more why he did the, the mill that area. If he was going to come aggressive, yes. Three militias, guys. And blue? Three militias as well. Pretty sick. Really, really sick. And the three militias are already outside. Let's see if they are going to be patrolling or what are they doing. Are they gonna just pass in or is he gonna attack instantly? Yeah, well, blue was going, but red notice. Red is coming with the men at arms. No men at arms from. Uh, now he's doing the men at arms. Obviously, his food is at the limit. And there's an archery range on the way. Archery range too. Both players are doing exactly the same. Obviously, mines are cheaper. Mines also has uh, the, the both boards while he didn't. He's now with a couple of farmers. One farmer already, too. And the Minotaur is already there too, so the battle start against that. He's gonna try to kill the Eagle. Well, good micro. It's similar micro. I think it's a little bit better for ACCM. A little bit better for ACCM. Good job. That Eagle now in danger to be lost. The Minotaur will keep going. And that Eagle is going to be bye-bye with the Minotaur. Yeah, he's just gonna kill the villager then. And? Ah! Oh. Okay, he's saving that one. Nice. But he didn't know the Menatar. Uh, I'm not sure. And he took the eagle. Taking the eagle is nice. Obviously, you can make another. But that won't be auto eagle. And you know that the NBL loves the auto things. You know, auto scout, auto villagers, auto farm, auto everything. He's coming now with those. And? Archers. Archers. He has a fletching, remember? Well, black, uh, blast with fletching. That it's very important. And the blast with costs half the price. One thing that is very bad. Well, it's not that bad since both players don't have wheelbarrow. Uh, sorry, uh, double attacks. The thing is, I can understand from ACCM without one, uh, without one boar. But why not uh, double attacks for MBL? I don't know. And Fletching is already there. That's crazy. I mean, this is, in my opinion, a really good start by ACCM. Because he has Fletching already. And MBL doesn't have Fletching. Yeah. This is really important to push him back. He was sending a Belier, but that Belier is in danger to be lost. He's also taking this food, which is fantastic. He's going to make now the, the plus one. He could uncue that Belier and do it. But he's not doing it right now. So, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, there's a skirmisher. And why he suicide the, the scout? Just to kill the Velir? Well, trying to kill the, the Velir is just gonna lose all the archers. 
because now he has arches that skirmisher and those arches are now bye bye i like a lot that the nbl is just doing now double attacks and, and fletching because with fletching he just lost these units which is definitely not the greatest doing more archers and not a lot of farming here he has an outpost but the game is gonna go for a standard approach i think tone watch will be lovely still the Voimian player that is AZCM is not. It's really not. Uh, well. Not doing the upgrades, man. Now he did. Nice. Now he did very, very nice. The game kind of stabilized. And in the meanwhile, seems the game is stabilized. Sorry, I click it twice. Not anymore. We see how... Fat Dragon and Tatot are playing in a Spiral. A spiral is a map that is going to be played here. And you see how Tatot is with Lithuanians with a lot of pikes. While Fat Dragon is with a lot of Knights nice Berbers. He has the plus two, but those amount of pikes are going to be a no to kill everything. Probably. And Tatot is with a huge advantage and most likely it's going to be the 2 zero. Being said that, we're going to go back. Why? Because MBL is bringing now a lot of farming here. And ACCM got what? No army at all in this spot. He has to be careful. No army ACCM, guys. No army. Nothing. And why this is happening? Well, Mayans are cheaper archers. He lost those archers being greedy. It's true that there's only two schemes and one archer. But, well, he still got no army, man. You need to go back. And denying this area, you are denying the shorefish. The ability is different. is already two. Echo KD, he didn't look, kill any Valir, but idle TC, 44 seconds. 44 seconds, you know? 44 seconds. You can see the eagle with the arches and skirmishes as well. And here we are with the house. This is the Tone Watch. And um, resources are looking sweet for both players. Even better for ACCM. I told you guys that these Bohemians civilization, civilization, I want to say it in Spanish, man. It's just very good, man. It is very good, man. The, the economy is just amazing. All right. And he did a second lumber camp, but with the market, he will be up already. He will be really up already. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Okay, skirmish is coming and Look at the arches, man. <clears throat> Castle Age now for MBL. ACCM is about to go up in, uh, in, in, well, after this Valir, in few seconds. And he's up to Castle Age too. Village is too behind. MBL does have a lot of farming. And now my question is, what army is MBL going to do? But also what ACCM, mining a lot of stone, it seems to be a castle for both players. Yeah, but look at here. He has an archery range here, so all these villages going away. You need a tower here, or all your resources are exposed. Yeah, ACCM need a tower right now to defend all this. Probably he want to save the stone to make a castle himself, but the timing is already a little bit ahead for MBL. What is he doing with those villages? I don't know. A market in that area. Why here? Make the market here. I don't understand why the market is in the middle where you can put the farms. Just make here in this area. I don't get it. Obviously, he wants to buy the stone to make the castle. The castle is going to be where? That's the question because I don't know yet. Okay. I really don't know. I really, really don't know. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see, amigos. He's coming with more archers. He has archers too. I mean, MBL is also mining stone, but I think ACCM needs to cancel even more. Look at this core difference. Why is like this? Probably inspiration. Yeah, he has explored more. The KD is very similar. And now he's doing the tower? Okay. Siege Workshop, doing the tower here, and Bozo as well. Yeah, but uh, guys, he has the tower, 
but he has no wood. He's gonna buy some wood? Yes. He did gonna lose another village, probably. Okay, he didn't. But he has the siege workshop. And he's still in a real problem here. You can see 30 seconds. The crazy chaos it can it can do on his opponent. Pretty crazy. Now he's not mining gold. Does he have the stone to make a castle at all? And MBL is in a great position here. Just playing aggressive. Standard with uh, with the archers. Going archers here. Uh-oh. You have to be careful. Crotos are already there with fletching. And a Mygonal is coming too. He's gonna make another Mygonal. Now he has a lot of on stone and gold too. Ooh. Well, population is not a big difference because red has also only one tone center. He's gonna make another Mangonel, yes. So that's gonna help. He's gonna send the village just to repair that Mangonel in case that to be needed. And the castle is gonna be forward, doesn't matter. MBL is doing a castle at home. He's doing a castle at home. And that's why now he's trying to go aggressive and he's going, he has the outpost. That helps a lot. That really helps a lot. I really believe that he has to come and make a castle here. Maybe chop that tree and make the castle in the same spot. Imagine. That could change a lot. That could really change a lot. That castle is not even up. Not even close to be up. Only 40%. And now... Gonna lose the village? Well, he has his scorpions. And the castle is exactly in the spot I suggest. He lost a couple of villages, but that's not really important in this with this approach. Scorpions are coming. And the castle is gonna be there. That's why... Now he's gonna try to bring more villages, but the situation is hard. Oh my god. Really, my god. He's gonna lose that, that Mangrel with the Scorpion is helping a lot. The Scorpion is helping a lot, but the crops are doing the job. The castle is gonna be up. Now he's doing a TC at the back. But maybe he's just gonna... Oh my god. He lose all the crossbows here. It's still only seven villages different. And with that castle and Botkin, you are taking this TC. So... Be careful with this game, because right now, the Bohemians' wagons are used pretty sick. By the way, just for those that are fanboys, Tatot versus Fat Dragon, over 2,500 score ahead, 200 population, you know, and Fat Dragon 120. So you can imagine what it's going to be. We keep going and focus. It's going to be a 2-0. That castle is done. Yes. And he can make another, but... He's gonna try to take this TC or not. I really don't know. Well, I was sure that Tato and Fat Dragon should be um, yeah, a pretty coincider series. That's why we picked this one. You never know, because now maybe ACCM is gonna take the, the, the game here and then, well, similar situation. But he's still coming with army. Quite a lot of army, but you have to be careful. Bohemians economy. He's gonna go monks. What is he going to do? He's gonna make another castle now? Where? Delete the house and make it here, maybe? Or maybe the, ha the castle here? I don't know. <sighs> oh, man. MBL is always great with the mangonels. Play really, really well. Almost the crowbars bye bye. And what is he planning to do? He's doing a second tone center. Castle is at the back, but you can see how MBL, without having a crazy foot, well, he doesn't have the crazy foot here, but. If he has 20, it means that he's all over. Short face, tears, as you can see. What else? Yeah, he's taking some extra free food. And he's about to go up, it seems. And Biel has 12 villages more. And right now, I mean, if he's doing Saturday, he's going more monks. Yeah, I might do fervor also, just to have better economy. Just do it, man. He has to do fervor, but he's not doing, right? No, 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 he's not doing. Anyway, the castle is going to be up. And now, he's well protected. And with not the best economy in the world, 64 villages, the game is pretty much over. Because that transition to Imp gives you a lot. He has to wait for the castle to be up. He has no buildings. Now he's up and then he's on the way to Imperial. And this is going to be a 1-1. One -one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Redemption. Yeah, it's not reading the game now really great. Like, redemption when you are against the Mayans. It's not gonna come a lot siege, you know. He knows that he's not. But, well, let's see. 
It's gonna drop probably another castle here. Obviously, all this is, is give you map to take the TC, but when he's doing... When he reach Imp, he's gonna go travel chest, man. And that's gonna dominate, man. That's really going to dominate. On the left, we can see here all these crowbos just also controlling the map. You know, so if you try to really move, you cannot go through this area. But this right area is black. Why? What means being black? Better say it. Well, he never explore. And BL did a little, but well. And here, another tone center. That's quite awkward because, well, it's pretty exposed this area why you don't make it easy at the back i don't get it anyway mbl is up but his economy is not amazing he won't have a lot of resources to go traps or go anything else so let's see he has 900 stone uh, mr accm but it's not using problem is that well we'll borrow now no we'll borrow at, at all He's still not going out to Amp. And Impid Lich is just too big, man. It's really too huge. He's going back now. A little now. Well, still have 1,000 stone, guys. 1,000 stone and MBL is in Imp. MBL will do trap. Yes. But that he has army. He has ar arches, 18 arches, future arbalest. He's doing the castle at home because he doesn't want to get raided. It seems. Okay. The TC is down. He has the monks also to convert the other mangonels. So be careful. ACCM is not going to give up. He has to be careful. There is not a lot of farming. And I told you that his economy are not great, but don't lose the monks, man. Well, he converted a Magonel. Oh, he's under the under the castle. No, but don't go like this. He can't kill it with the castle because there's no more the holes. Well, I'm telling you something. If ACCM managed to reach Imp, careful, really careful. He's gonna have only one tone center, and uh, oh boy, oh really boy. And yeah, the castle is here now. Just use those valiers, but. The wagons are dead. Look at the wagons. They just don't die even against the Arbalest, man. What the hell? Eight Arbalest and just look at the damage he got. Are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me? ACCM. It is still in a position that is maybe he's going to be able to take the game. Unbelievable or not, but it's truth. He has now also the monks. He's going to take it. Oh, boy. He's converting. No. But he has two mangonels. Don't lose the mangonels. Just go back. Ah, oh, man. The wagons don't die. And now, ACCM with the same villains and his opponent, it's on the way to Imperial. What he needs to do right now is chemistry. Because if he has chemistry and then he reach Imp and is able to do bomber cannons, oh boy, oh really boy. Oh boy, oh really boy. That TC is in danger to be lost. The wagons are just not dying. They are just so, so tanky. The Hussite wagon, they are just, you know, tanks from war. But don't lose against the castle, man. I'm seriously, really, really, my goodness. Anyway, guys, BL is moving. But I see his Bohemian's economy is just, it's just disgusting. And he doesn't have the hand card, but now chemistry, spectate. And he's gonna make another siege workshop. We have bomber cannons, and I'm only only gonna tell you, imagine if he is doing the hovnische, guys. If he's doing the hovnische, my goodness! Oh, oh! ACCM multitask. Who are there under the sand? My goodness! Five monks lost against the tone center when you have monks with redemption and they can have block printing are you kidding me man like seriously you can't lose those units you really cannot it's not even acceptable really i don't know if you agree but that's incredible that's really really incredible well he's gonna move some he can go through this middle through the area but let's see 
The wagons are there. Now he does have the monks. He could convert those mangroves. I don't know what's going on, but man, it's incredible. Resources you still have a lot of gold. Remember, this civilization is quite sick. 88 will is 89 now, 84. It's gonna be an imperial. Stop losing that one. He's going to convert the arbalest. He's not converting and he's not taking, but you don't need to take the risk. Why these people make these moves when he's about to be an imperial and have the upgrades? I just don't understand. I am seriously don't understand anything at all, you know. If he's doing with those monks block printing, he's just gonna have a, a, a brutal monks with crazy range, you know, with really crazy range. MBL already with Ballistic and 93 values, still not a lot more than Bohemians, ACCM. MBL is doing what he has to do with two traps, with a lot of Arbalists, and then another RG range. One, two, three tone centers. Oh boy. Oh really boy. Illumination, block printing. Yeah, all the upgrades he need. And the bomber cannon is there. But he's now losing more and more Husid wagon. Wait a bit, man. Losing all the monks. All the damn monks. Unbelievable. Really unbelievable how when he has the opportunity to have better units, he's really not playing that great. Bomber cannon is going to take the trap. Not really. But with two bomber cannons, he might be able to do it. Yeah, with two, he might be able to do it. We will see. This castle is obviously really important. And he's repairing the threats forever, but MBL has no goal at all. No goal at all. And now, if he's doing presser, oh boy, the bomber cannon's in danger. He has the trebuchet. The bomber cannons are so important. These are so tanky. The score is still not that, that big difference, but man. His economy, ACCM economy, is now disaster. 11 farmers only. 11 farmers only. He's going to repair or not? More Husid wagon. You need to send them all. And Bial is at the limit with the resources too. But if you take the traps... Oh boy. Oh really boy, he's still not taking. Repairing all the time. Look at the bomber cannons, but he's just micring good. Nice, very nice play by MBL doing the plus two armor, super intense. But the clown, the clown strategy now it seems to be not working well. ACCM has 98 villages with Bohemian's economy, you know. So he just need to make few skirmishes here with the bomber cannons, and he can't take this. He's taking the mining camp, gonna repair or not? If he take the traps, he can stabilize. He has a hundred villages. Like seriously, a hundred villages. Come on, okay. He's not doing. He's defending the threat with the Arbalest in front, which I love it. More Husid Wagon. More Husid Wagon. Need to go back. Who's gonna take this game? The score is getting closer. ACCM at the limit. At the very limit. Is Nembiel not like with crazy resources? He need to kill the traps. He's not killing the traps with the bomber cannons, but he's micro like God with those Arbalest. Trying to defend those. Oof. Oh, well, killing villains, those villains doesn't matter at all. And now, with the three bomber cannons, he's gonna be able to take the traps. I insist. If he take the traps, he's gonna be fine. A tower here, it will help against those arbalists. I agree with that one. War tower, but guys, you need farmers. His economy is... <sighs> really poor economy, man. Really poor economy. My goodness. Are those war towers? No, it's watch tower. And now need to go back. Repairing the castle, no, but the traps is only two traps. Man is still alive, those traps with it forever. And Biel is dancing like if he was in the disco, I'm telling you. Well, it's what I remember from being in the disco. Is people dancing right now like this in the disco? Don't think so. People is only drinking, not dancing anymore. What the hell? I know, off topic, but it's what it is. Bomber cannons, he's gonna take it or not? Ooh, oh my god! Oh my god, that was great! Taking a lot of, of those armor, is he gonna take the traps or not? He's killing a lot more and he's not Kuvniche! You have to be careful, he did a really good job now with the three bomber cannons, he's coming! One trebuchet down! If he killed the traps, oh my god, oh my goodness! Army numbers for MBL, he's not microing anymore. And now he's gonna take the trap and taking the trap. Elite Skimmers is coming. ACCM, it's coming back from the hell and he's gonna win the game. Unbelievable game that MBL is unable to finish. The Bombard Cannons are still alive, not one of those. And that castle, that castle is in danger now. He has only eight skirm eight 
farmers. But the MBL has not much more and not goal. One relic for him. And I really believe that ACCM, it might be able to win the game. I don't know, but this looks Walter the Conqueror at 3-0 for MBL 100%. I know, man. My moderators, not my moderator, guys. Every viewer that become a moderator, it, it just fail more and more in the predictions. My moderators are infected. It's a mem virus. You know, mem virus, guys. Mem virus. You become a mod and you suck in AOE 2. If you want to be mod, be my guest. Two traps, three bombard cannons. Gonna take the castle or not? Okay. Let's see, man. Let's see. He's gonna be able or not? Well, push two armor, three bombard cannons, and all the castle. This is an amazing game by AZCM, honestly. He has been patient. He is still with two TCs, but he has been doing release all the time. His economy with Wheelbarrow is much better right now. 25 farmers, and guys, MBL is dead. Is dead. I mean, even if he's doing eagles, which cannot because he has no resources, it's impossible. And I'm telling you something. If ACCM is able to make Hufnische, then what? Guys, MBL 1TC now. He got all the Arbales. Skirmishes are coming. And with the skirmishes and bomber cannons, explain me how the Mayans is going to be able to take it. This is a 2-0 series for... ACCM, crazy stuff. Hopefully you enjoy with the game and hopefully what, what that you enjoy with the casting. I'm trying my best even if I don't have boys and hopefully it's beautiful because this game is amazing. Really, really good. Really, really good game by ACCM, honestly. He's going in with the skirmishes. Heal advantage he has, but I don't think he need to commit with those. I really believe that right now after being so long waiting in the middle, he should be careful. Don't Lose the bomber cannons. Don't lose the bomber. <laughs> My goodness. ACCM is the next moderator in my channel, guys. Let's go. Trebuchet, Bomber Cannons, Hufnische. He's gonna go and do what now? Aye, aye, aye. Well, let's see with the Trebuchet. Obviously, ACCM is still fine. I agree. Because he has 130 villages and 45 Lambrias, 50 farmers. So... When he has a lot more army and he needs a lot more army, he has 21. If he's doing Hovniche, that's it. Doesn't need anything else, you know? Anything else. I don't know what the MBL is going to be trying. He's doing Theocracy. I don't know for what. You need the Monk's upgrades. I don't know. I mean, it's good to have, but still. Remember that this civilization don't have good cavalry. They're bad. Lose another Bomber Cannon, please. Thank you. I love that you follow my orders. And now lose the traps with the skirmishes. Will be hilarious. Anyway, resources very close to get the Hubnische. Those villages are in danger now for the Arbalest. He should move and take the wood in the middle. Yeah, why not? In the middle. Perfect. Anyway, score is still almost the same. The game is going to keep going for quite a while. We can see this coming. Yes, we definitely can. And Hubnische is in the house amigos Hufnische, they are very good but he has one bomber cannon guys he could have right now like five or six he has one bomber cannon you know one bomber cannon uh -oh. he's mining his stone there cab rams as well i don't know if now he's gonna try to take economy here with the rams maybe but if you have a couple of Hufnische here you're gonna be fine. He has to have a stone to make another castle. The bomber cannons are in danger. Still, let me with more with more army, but the army is not the greatest. But he's still losing the bombers. Yeah, he's still losing the bomber cannons. But getting closer to the castle is not the way to go. Anyway, he's doing another castle in this area. Why here? I don't know. He wants maybe to protect the wood, but it's now playing defensive. 
In my opinion, ACCM was playing much better when he was in a worse position. Now that he has the advantage, he's playing worst. I don't know if you agree, but he's definitely now playing worst. Yeah, the Rams are coming. And Blue is going to see the Rams coming. We will see. The Hufnishi are going to be there in a moment. He should bring back. And obviously, those Rams will die instantly. Very, very fast. He has no Ballistic. He will have now. Oh, my God. All those skirmishes without Ballistic. Just go back, man. The Hufnishi are there, but it's not using. Now, ACCM has zero micro. Literally zero micro. Hufnishi going to kill the skirms. Well, it's not microing, and now the Hoof Nietzsche gonna kill all. This is the problem now. This army will stop MBL 100%. Yeah. Now the gun power units are gonna move faster. The rams are coming. And is eating the castle. Like, he need a lot of traps or something. I don't know. But guys, those Hoof Nietzsche will kill the rams. That castle should never go down. Let's see. Let's see the shots. Okay. E3. He's gonna take the rams or not? <laughs> well, yeah, with a couple of shots. Yeah, the rams are in the hell. Very fast. Now repair the castle and the rams are going to be bye-bye. As you can see with more army. Population finally 175. Still 140 villages. And seriously, look at the score. The score has moved 1000 in the last 30 seconds. He's doing the masonry, he's now doing hand cards, scale bar, armor, exactly what you need, light caps. Few light caps is what you need and you kill all. This castle is gonna be down very fast, maybe it's not gonna be even up. Why you are going back, man? Why you are going back? It's care of three arbalists and two villages, my goodness. ACCM, please, stop being scary, stop being chicken. Yeah, well, here's skirmishes too. And in this area, he could poop a push. Nah, this is game for AZCM. MBL has no chances now. The castle is gonna be down in a moment. Like, I'm even thinking that if with Eagles he could do the job. Maybe Eagles 100 HP is possible. But, I don't know. I really don't know. He doesn't have any upgrades. So, Chain Bard and Armor, Lambert Camp, the castle is just down. And ladies and gentlemen, AZCM is on the way to be 2-0 and be in the main event. Now it's tables in front, and uh, MBL will have to increase his gameplay a lot in the remaining games. Remember <clears throat> that this one was a home map from uh, from him, you know, so pretty crazy, pretty, pretty crazy. Do you understand why I'm casting this one, guys? Tatot has won already 3-0, you know, 3-0, you know, to, to his opponent. 3-0 to VV EC, and we are still on the game number two. So, well, it is what it is. All right. Why no Eagles? I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, well, I have to apologize also, because right now I just got a, a pop-up that, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I was so focused and, and uh, excited with the game, and now Twitch is just playing an ad in the middle of the game, which I cannot control. Because I I didn't notice that they were going to do it. So, Eagle Warriors plus two going with the skirmishes. Three thousand gold, three thousand gold for ACC Emma. Four K score ahead. Gonna take now that relic, and man, what is this? Well, yeah, I mean. MBL will will not give up. He has 144 population and he has, well, some villages all over the map. But there's nothing he can do. He's doing eagles now, maybe elite eagles. But if he's doing champions, yeah, elite eagles, all right. Elite eagles to clean those. But with those resources now, it's impossible, man. It's really impossible. Yeah. 3k goal, man. 3k goal. Unbelievable, man. Anyway. Plus two squires and uh, and now mm, 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 mm. is very difficult, guys. Very difficult. Eagle warrior plus four. Yeah, where's the barracks, by the way? Here, here they are. Yeah, lead eagle warriors doing another monastery, taking more villages, taking the relics. Now he has to be careful. You don't want to lose the Hovniche. I mean, hand cannoneers can take those eagles. Oh my god, the Hoof Nietzsche are killing the Eagles too. <laughs> well, 
Well, light caps killing all these. Population for MBL is, is solid, to be honest. But. Yeah, he's killing the eagle with Hufnisha, man. <laughs> the hell, man. Yeah, well, the eagles are strong against the, the skirmishes. But now, <clears throat> 4k goal. He's gonna lose that. He's gonna kill Bird, not really. Just doing more light caps. He's 200 population, 140 villages. This castle is gonna be up. Yeah. Well, I like MBL. He's so competitive. But how you can recover from these guys? Yeah. And no castle for Eldorado, 100 HP, Eagles. So if he's doing just champions. Well. ACCM has five castles, guys. Five castles, three TCs. And he's waiting for the players. He's taking out the monk. I really believe that ACC... Well, I mean, NBL has good population. Why, why he's going to give up, right? He keep trying. He can take the woodland here. Still trying to move. Just spamming his resources is at the limit. Obviously, it's difficult to finish because you don't have super mobility units. But, yeah. It's impossible game for him. Really impossible, in my opinion, at least. I don't know. I mean, the group Nietzsche gonna kill the skirmishers. Few light caps to kill more. And champions is already there. Champions, guys, that we don't see often with uh, Bohemians, but they are fully abraded. They are plus four, plus four. So those champions definitely kill the eagles. Even more those eagles that are missing a lot of upgrades. A lot of upgrades. Well, GG. GG, guys, MBL can't with ACCM for now. He just can't with ACCM. ACCM is still super solid. Remember that he has improved a lot. He's always been there. He's always really, really, really in the latest stage. And right now he's 2-0 ahead and MBL couldn't do the job. I really believe that it has been a, an amazing performance by ACCM. He hold it uh, really well. Then he reboom did the crazy economy and dominated with Bohemians versus the Mayans. <clears throat> I was thinking in the start of the game that I believe that they are better than the Mayans and ACCM with the total and brutal domination. Let's go. Okay, guys, game number three. It's going to be the good one, you know? Why is going to be the good one? Well, because it's very important now. NBL has... To step up his gameplay for sure. And Bia has been in situations like this before. So let's see what he can do with Franks versus Hans in a map that is very cool. But it's not complicated to wall. And why I prefer Hans? Because I think they are better in a map like this. Why? If you wall and you go aggressive, it's not gonna take those ships. Uh, it's gonna lame the boar. Look at the boar. <laughs> well... MBL and now ACCM might take the board too. So yeah, well, let's see. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Oh baby. Oh baby. Seriously? Seriously? Okay. Explain me why he left now. Why he went to the right side? Can, can you tell me? Because I really don't know. Oh my god. Oh my real god. Well, I mean, look at the ships and look at the boar. It was just there, man. It was just there, amigos. Unbelievable. Really unbelievable. Anyway, he has lost one boar. Now he can see it. Time to take it back. Okay. And MBL is exploring his base. So they are the same right now back into why i think is better hands here well with this map generation if you wall a little bit and you just play scouts the early game is better for for franks yes but in a map like this if you are able to put a good economy going and then reach castle at similar time than franks or better but similar I believe that cav arches here can be lovely. Why? Because even if you wall with the cav arches, you're gonna be able to raid all the wood. And if you raid the wood here, oh boy, you really dominate. He recovered that boar. He lost 20 HP while MBL, 20 HP as well. Both lost the same. 
perfectly urine. in. Nice. I don't know if you agree, but the potential cap barges approaching cancellates here can be so dis disturbing, man. A lot. Really, really a lot. That's why I really believe hands are better. He's not moving those. So, yeah, let's see. Also, he has one goal at the back. The Braves are not great, but the Braves are not great either. Goal at the back and a stone at the back. NBL can't complain about the map. It's a very good one. Yeah, but if you make here some walls, you see? I mean, it's normal. With those walls, you protect everything. Everything. Yeah, really, really everything. It's expected, man. It's really, really expected. The deer still have 90 foot here, so... I wouldn't go for the mill. Why you need the mill already? You are losing already foot because there's decay, man. Look, 86 foot left. And then he's pushing another deer. But why? You are not taking the food. Yeah, also losing some food from the boars. Anyway, it's details but matters. And now we have MBL with the walls as well. I didn't check the chat, but guys, do you think that is better? The hands or not? Because I believe he's, he's better than Hans, honestly. Thank you for following. Now he's got a palisade, okay. And... 20... Okay, 20 population, 19 population. And now he's gonna palisade this area. Yeah, he's gonna be fine. Thank you guys for the follow. Appreciate it. Awesome. And Feudal Age. What is the next series? Do you remember? I don't remember what is the next series from after MBL ECM. It was Jordan versus Ito, amigos. Oh! Aye, aye, aye. Jordan versus Ito. Is Jordan versus Ito? Yeah. And then Vilese Slam. It's okay. I don't know what you think, but it's okay. It is okay. Yeah, well, it's wall in all, both fires. Wall in all, both are going up and they have the same population. So now it's impossible to make any damage. Any damage. So this game is going for Castle Age. And to be honest, to fight against the hands, you might need to go one TC push, man. He's gonna make a barra here, probably. If he's going in, he's gonna lose a scout. Oh man. Well, scout is gonna be lost. Well, bring the scout and his scout bye bye. Blue is coming now with the with the ship. The scout is uh, in front. He's gonna make the stable. Ah, uh, oh, don't take damage, man. Ay, ay, ay. This is bad now, you see. But he doesn't care too much. Double task horse collar. Seems his wall completely. He doesn't care. Just one spear and maybe not even army. I wouldn't be surprised that he's not doing army. Yeah. Just economy, maybe. No, he's gonna make this table. Okay, nice. Very nice. The scout is still inside. And this is a spear. Doing the scout, but guys, they are both fully walled. I mean, the concept and the idea of this map is nice, but the players might wall every single time. He's gonna send a village to make a tower. I wouldn't be surprised that the NBL will do that. But he's exploring for that. Yeah. He's exploring for that. You know, Tone Watch is the way to go. Tone Watch. Perfect upgrade. You do it, you see if he's uh, now also dropping a tower or something. He's gonna send a spear, and then he's fine. Remember his tables? 20% faster working. Not bad. And MBL? Not reacting quick. Not reacting quick. Yeah, another spear, but no scouts. He's not doing the scouts. Why are you why are you gonna Yeah, you see, this is expected. This is really expected. Obviously you can move, but then it's not terrible also. If you send a villier and make a tower, 
you're you are not gonna be able to sell stone well he's mining but you have to mine a stone so the idea is good but i'm not sure you can always move obviously if you make towers all over the wood it's annoying but let's see if this is gonna be an oath or it's gonna make the damn build is gonna be slower to the next age it's a possibility i insist ton watch man why he has not they are not doing well good question who is this? Daniel Victorious. Vamos. Well, the tower is taking both Lambriax. Both. Simple both Lambriax. And now he will do Fletching even. It's possible, man. It's really possible. He's gonna mine gold already. Ah, oh, man. Unfortunately, man. Hans and Franks is an amazing one. Is this another tower? Ah, to take the stone or, or, or to do what? Fletching. Hmm. I'm not sure about this strategy by MBL. Well, he's doing a tower here. I like it. Just go and take the spear. The villager, sorry. Yeah, but Finn is the tower, man. Finish the tower is, is just the way to go. Let's see if he's gonna notice now the wood. ACCM, he does. And just chop the trees there. He's not doing a great tower. Yeah. He's not really taking the wood. Aye, aye, aye. Well, Hans economy will be better. He's now mining a stone too. Okay. And he's with four villages on goal. He's going with five. Hans are Hans, I insist. Hans are Hans. He's gonna go to the scout or not? Nah, he's gonna wall. Maybe even the blast within this area. No without, but might do it soon. And this is an archery range. Very interesting. Very interesting and probably useless. I like a lot more if ACCM just go up to Castledge right away. It is another tower. It is another tower. But he's gonna take this tower down. He's idling himself, I feel. He's, I don't know was much easier to solve this with the tone watch but hey we'll see mbl is amazing with the macro right well good economy here but idle tc now wow okay he lost a villager there he lost a villager there yeah just make a novel lambrica maybe well he need a blacksmith he need a blacksmith and he still need the resources to go up i don't know if he's gonna make the blacksmith or the market the tower is gonna be gone yeah frank's economy is so smooth man it's really smooth seriously seriously smooth yeah the game is going for a castle it's approach as we can see five villages here and another tower. Annoying towers. All right. Those villages. This is the thing that ACCM is not improving. I have seen this before many times. Look at these five villages in the tower. Come on, man. Exactly. A lot of idle time. Yeah, and that tower in the range. Yeah. He's going to go up to Castle. He's doing a market forward. So he can see the market. But ACCM is up. And then my question is, Cavarches or Knights? Well. Well, well, well. Maybe Knights now is good to clean all this. Because Cavarches will take a while. But with Knights, you kill all. And BL, it has army and gonna go up to, to Castle Age. Idle in time, idle in TC too. And now this tower is annoying. Very, very annoying. Nah, he's doing cab archers. He's going cab archers, expected. And now he's doing the tower. Very annoying, but... Well, another tower will be. Obviously, with Botkin, that tower probably is just gonna be denied. And at the end, they've been, they are going up a little bit slower than I expected. But obviously, since there has been towers, it's normal. It is really normal. Fletching now. Did they have the Fletching? With Fletching, it's gonna be... It's gonna be good, and and he's gonna see that tower too, right? Not really. Let's see with Fletching, with one extra range more. I think he will. 
Yeah, he can. He can, and with Botkin, he will reach too. He does have the bloodlines. Bloodlines is really, really a must. Hopefully, he will do it. At home, he's obviously safe. Still mining stone. He's housed. He has 10 army, but the army is used what? Six archers, two spears, two scouts. Something really not really strong. Well, at least he's just in this tower with the five archers, four archers. So that benefits him because ACCM is idle for right now. And his economy is at the limit. At the very limit. No bloodlines. Okay. And Botkin Arrow, amigos. He's doing knights and cav archers. Why knight cav archers? He's doing Botkin, Bozo. And he's doing another tower. Oh boy. Now, nah, but that village should, should die. That village will die. Another tower here. Doing the town watch. And what? Knight as well. But the knight is without upgrades. He's doing Botkin. And. Oh my god. Oh my god, MBL. MBL! Ay, ay, ay. Well. Well, well, well. Even MBL, Titanic. In some of these situations, losing all the arches are almost crazy. Really crazy. Those lilies are idle, not driven, even attacking. And now he needs to go with the knights. Still zero upgrades. Phyllis, he can't take this. Why well, he's not attacking the village? He's on the range, I believe. Or not. Well, I don't know. But he's being really annoying. He's forcing so many idols. 10 idols right now. And MBL in the meanwhile is just booming here with an extra tone center. Yeah, but booming? Ouch. I don't know. Don't be greedy against the hands. Well, I insist. Many, 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 many. Village idol for blue. Not ideal. Doing another lumber game in that area. Husbandry. No bloodlines. And that's the problem now with the cow arches, I told you. Cow arches are coming. He has the botkin. And now the TCs are not going to protect the wood here. It's going to be so annoying. The annoying that MLA has been here is not going to be, you know. And the Valir, oh, he should take that Valir. But he cannot see it. He's going to put another tower. And all this is happening because of no Tone Watch. Yeah. Anyway, Calvarches are there. Denying a little bit. Idle time as well now. And, ouch, the Lambriax in this area, really, really a problem. But... Without the list, he's just going least skirmishers. Obviously, with Franks, you don't want to go least skirmishers. But hey, if you go, it's fine. It's really fine. He lost the knights. Yes, he did. This is obviously a very good tower. It's been really, really annoying. But he's forcing him to make a tower too. And that tower is going to reach a lot. Yeah, but not saving 100%. Need to move. Cav Archer's number is 9. Two knights. He's gonna try to kill the archer range. I think a siege war shop and a monastery will be lovely. You kill everything and then take the three relics. And honestly, with the hands, yeah, one TC hands can be powerful. He's still 50 villains. More villains is still than MBL with two TCs. And forcing him to make more towers. Man, this is so annoying, all the towers, right? So annoying. He's housed. 22 army. He has crossbows. He has skirmishers. But how many? Well, they might do the job. He has no bloodlines. So that army, combined with two knights and two monks, he might be able to kill everything, guys. Let's see his reaction. Let's see his reaction. He's going to convert. Ouch. He convert the knight. This is a... I don't know. Well, if he's going away now. But uh, it's tricky, man. Tricky with those skirmishes and archers. And you don't want to lose the relics. I think what MBL wants is to take the relics even from his opponent. I told you, Siege here or Monks will be lovely. You know, he's now a guy with the towers. And those villages are idle for a long time. And now MBL is going to grab six relics. <laughs> well, if he's doing that, he's starting to come back, MBL. You know, now the Siege Workshop. You can see how the players played a lot better when they take the, the, the aggressive position. And right now... MBL is playing much better than his opponent and much better than in the previous games. Instead of being defensive, he's being aggressive. Now the Taunt Watch. That's crazy. That's really crazy. With those Cav Archers, just kill that Villier, man. Well, still those five Villiers idle for a really long time. 
14 idol villages. He has five, another five. Now he's gonna take this one. But he did the damage already, and he's taking all the relics. Six relics is incredible. Thank you so much for the soup, amigos. It's amazing gaming, Eagle Warrior. Ah, let's go. Can you show total resources gathered? I can. Economy. NBL a lot more. 2k more already. More gold, more wood, more stone, more everything. As you can see. He's trying to go with the Cav Archers. But he has no... No, he has Bloodlines now. But no Ballistic, right? Well, the Cav Archers are going to be there. Another Monastery. And... Hands are hands. He took the village. He's losing the Cav Archers. I don't think that he's having... A great game here, ACCM, but there is a pause. A pause. Obviously, you don't want to play against the, the Huns, but he has a good army. He has plus two, plus two. Now he's going to make university because this has to be university. And let me just check if this is... It was a, it was MBL pause. All right. Hype train, let's go. Let's really go. Well, 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 well. Not the best. Plus two, man. Plus two armor. Oh, man. And thanks God, he's not ballistic. Now he's gonna go. Sending another village to be annoying. Look at the goal. Not the best balanced economy. It's still only three villages different. Only three villages different. Because MBL Idle TC, guys, check. Check MBL Idle TC. It's insane. Is seriously insane. You know, why the cab archer through this area, I have no idea. Are you really gonna lose all this? Oh my god. Okay, no ballistic. The mangrove is coming. And now a TC on that goal. Trying to keep going. 33 seconds idle TC for ACCM. Which is amazing. Really, really amazing. And I insist, hands are hands, but the NBL is just playing now for the super defensive approach and is a castle in this area is that a good castle in my opinion is not why not what you are defending here for you know like if now accm is just going around you raid everything while here you don't protect the wood you don't protect anything i will do a castle suddenly here and you protect wood gold and everything i don't think it's a great castle anyway he has six relics that's Amazing. Well, now that he's doing a TC, but it still is not close. I will do it closer to the wood. Now he will see the castle and he will have to go away right away. Let's go. So he has to go raid. Yeah. He has to go raid. There's a siege workshop, and with this knight, he's still clean. Anyway, he's moving. Obviously, the army MBL has is not great. It's not. I mean, it's, it's just to defend against the Cav Archers. He needs probably Knights. But, I insist, hands are hands. His 5 is behind Oli. And ACCM Macro is being sick with all this. I mean, he got idols because of the towers. But, look at now. He can take the Villier. And he's not taking. He's definitely not taking. He has no Ballistic. Ballistic is huge with this. And what is he doing? Avoiding the castle and going to somewhere else. He's doing now the plus two. Still without Ballistic. Ballistic is the way to go 100%. He has to do it. But please, stop sending Mangones lonely. This is the, the thing that makes me feel like, what the hell? You know? What the hell? Losing the siege that is expensive because you send alone. Ouch. All right. The battle is going to be immense. Villiers now is the same, as you can see. Good bang on the shot by MBL. Well, four and more and another one. Okay. Now he lost that one, but that was a good bada boom. Going to take this one and he's repairing. This is what you do. And now he's going to lose all the cap arches because he's playing greedy and sloppy. <laughs> He lost like 10 cap arches, one with the bada boom, five with bada boom, another five here, five or four, I don't know, but that's a lot. That's really, really a lot. 
He's doing now light caps. Obviously, you need to do some army coming with the Mangor. Let's steal ACC and boom. It's impressive. Look at ACC M right now with 84 villains, seven more than MBL. Seven more than MBL. What's going on? And now you have to be careful. He really have to see this. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> This is the difference, guys. I'm telling you many times that the multitasking is the key. Look, look, look. Finally. Now, but he lost five villages with that migrant, you know. And now the Skiris is under the TC and he's not putting the villages on. And really, this is the big difference with the top, 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 the number ones and the top 20, you know, or top 16. Because they see all these things immediately immediately you know while these these top 16 players don't or they do sometimes you know yeah is the difference now a knight gonna take the siege workshop and it's still now mbl is ahead in villages it's normal he lost 13 villages in the last two minutes uh, accm he's coming with what more skirmishers he's gonna drop a castle well not yet remember that he's much cheaper for for Franks, ACCM is still ahead in the score, but I don't think he's really, really ahead in the game. And Biel is now trying to boom more and more. The problem is that now the army is weaker. But, 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 ooh, ooh, he's gonna lose both Mangonels. Okay, great micro here by ACCM. Yes, losing the Mangonels when he's there shooting twice. Crazy, really, really crazy. All right, he's wasting a lot. ACCM has wasted in the last two minutes all his chances to take the game. Because right now, MBL with 91 values and just doing skirmishers, it's on the way to Imperial Age. On the way to Imperial. This is typical MBL. It doesn't lose a clean gameplay. It looks that he's going annoying mode activated, and he is. He has no ballistic still. And then he just go and reach Imperial, where nobody expected. Let's see with this army. He got three monks, but now the Calvarses are here. I'm going to start to lose villages. He's going to lose villages? Yes, he will. How many? Quite a lot. Or not that many, because he noticed. What? Okay. He's losing some, but without Valistic, he's not helping that much. This is another castle on his face. There's nothing there to deny that one. And he got four Magonals. Let's say out of position. Well, killing a house. Very strong. Well, here, there's a castle, guys, on his face. And he's gonna be in Imperial. ACCM has better score, but it's a lie, in my opinion. When now he just reach in and make trebuchet, what ACCM can do? Well, guys, you know what he can do. You really know. Come on. Put in the chat, guys, what he can do. Okay, what is 105? 105 is nothing. You got the emoticons, man. The emoticons. Double the army MBL. MBL now eight knights. More obviously than the hands. And with just towers and skirmishers, he has killed everything. And now knights taking the gold, man. It's, and he's not reacting. He's multitasking. ACCM is gone. Off. You know? He's 2 1. And MBL still fighting for. Come back from the hell. Look at this reaction. And another 11 villages lost. It's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah, well, he's trying to attack with the Migonals. And he's gonna probably try to push here. The Knights are only plus one, plus one. That's the only good thing. The Knights is still better for ACCM. Yeah, they do. It's five Migonals. He's gonna kill here. Well, 20 villages more. And... Here, traps, skirmishers. While at home, he's losing all. Look at ACCM losing absolutely everything against few knights on the TC. Yeah, well, 150 population MBL, ACCM 114. Unbelievable, but this is a total domination. And I'm telling unbelievable because I truly believe that ACCM was in a better position. He started to lose the game when he lost those Cavarses with the Badabooms. Yeah? 
And then he lost Veliz with the mind control as well, five Veliz. That was completely the game change here. He's still trying ACCM. Yeah, you can keep trying if you want, but you don't have any map control. And your opponent is in Imp. So if he's able to do Cavaliers, it's true that the NBL economy is not the best. He has no Bozo even, but he's in Imp, man. And if he's able to make the Cavalier upgrade, look at the score difference. It's just huge, guys. It's really huge. But no, man. ACCM keep trying, man. It's crazy. They try hard from these players. It's just, it's just really too much. He's really in another level. You know, they try hard. Yeah. Well, he still doesn't see Cavalier. So he's thinking, eh, he went up to Imp. Traps, skirmishers. With the traps, he's killing the buildings. And now those knights are going to be finally abraded into Cavaliers or not. Well, still sending army. Population is not that big difference. The score is still growing. 2k. And all the TC. You mind if he used wallet this earlier? This and this one. <laughs> yeah. Completely different game. But they didn't. And now knights. Cav archers. ACCM going up to Imperial? No way. Really far. Who is this? A follower? Let's go! I agree, better try hard than early that early GG, but this is not early GG. This is getting closer to 3000 score difference. Cavalier, husbandry, and everything is wall here, so he's a wall probably in this area. Another TC. That is going to be down. And then it's going to be ACCM with two tone centers only. He will never go up to Imperial. And how you kill with Castle units when you have less army, less villages, and your opponent will have no Cavaliers and plus four. You cannot. You cannot. They're still killing villages, okay? Yeah, but ACCM, just look. He has killed all 11 villages now. And we are in 47 minutes. So his rating never was big success. It never was. The Cavaliers are now there. He's trying to convert. Okay, let's see. Well, he converted both. And now doing barracks. He's still confident, man. He's still confident, man. Only 2,500 score. The Trebuchet is still there. But he's with his skirmishes and, 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 and monks. Maybe a few light cats will help. But yeah, I know the castle. And... Uh, Population is similar. SCCM keep trying, guys. Keep trying forever. Wow. I mean, NBL can't complain about this because NBL always try these kind of things too. Like 3,000 score difference and then he keep trying to play. But now, I don't really see it how this can happen. I mean, if he got already 50 farmers, then maybe. But like this... 50 farmers is MBL. And like this, you can't go up to Imp. Yeah, there's a castle. It's true that that does have a lot of cavaliers there. But it's 70 farmers. Ready with more cavaliers. Yeah. But the castle is there. You have to be careful. It's still, guys, no ballistic for ACCM. And he's been playing with cab bars the whole game, guys. Novelistic GG call. The game was over a long time ago, but he keep trying, you know. And ACCM, I think he got the 3-0 there. But, in my opinion, he misplayed this. Seriously, he did. Yeah, well, it's what it is, guys. It's what it is. And let's analyze. NBL kill a lot more. Economy, much better as well. 8,000. I mean... Is the only one time that he went a little bit annoying, you know, and then ACCM couldn't handle it. It was not under the, his comfort area and ACCM got wrecked by MBL. Let's say annoying aggression. Game number four. Guys, there we go. And we're going to play now with, we're going to see now, sorry, game number four in the spiral spiral map this one is a land map even if it looks like there's a water and now okay this pond 
really far really far differently i like it it's not all the time the same you can see how far it is this area is not connected you know there's a lot of hills and why ebl pick my lie i don't know what i prefer here to be honest but well mongols got the boost with the with the hand but there's only two deers so it's not also a great okay there's more deers in the middle the pack of deers close to those <clears throat> and bill know that he has to to kill this now he noticed he didn't know man okay <laughs> yeah or maybe he forgot anyway remember that this is 250 foot and uh, what civilization you prefer here, man? Mongols or Malai? Like, Malai probably for the fish, but look how far these pawns are. And they are not together now. I mean, yesterday the generation was like, the, uh, these areas were like, like here, so close to the DC, but now they are super far. Okay. I don't know. I think I prefer the Mongols, guys. Uh, yeah. And if they can go for a late game and they are, you know, these players are, are playing safe. They are not going super crazy in feudal. In late game, Mongols are better than Malai. Like, seriously. Yeah. Hazards. They got both Arbalest. It's still no plus four. I agree, but still Arbalest for Mongols. I don't know. And Malai no mobility is, is kind of... Kinda awkward. But he has four villains on wood. What is he trying to do now at CCM? He's gonna go dock because blue uh, red MBL is gonna do it. Or he's gonna go malicious. I'm not sure. No oof. Okay. Remember that the cows need to hit to take the food. The ship's only one, you know? 14 HP and the ship only seven. And now what is Blue doing? He's going forward to make a dock. It seems so. But without the loom? Well, he's sending the scout to protect. Red MBL is here. With the loom down too. And both are going to go to the same spot. Very interesting. I'm probably better for MBL. Because MBL with Malai will have a, a faster up. I'm not even sure if the if if the dog is that worthy. It's, it's five minutes, so it's not super early. But obviously, it's some extra boost that you get. Oh man. And you know the advantage for him? Oh man. I mean, ACCM is not gonna see the dog from his opponent. MBL will. Do you know why MBL will see or not? I believe you know, right? Come on, you're professional, guys. You're professional. Exactly, man. 100% LOS. And Blue is trying to explore the other area. But explain me why he's not exploring first this area. Why it has to be there and not here. Well, this is good, guys. This is really good for MBL. So let's see what is going to happen. Obviously, the Mongols is going to go up now very quick with the beautiful bonus they get with the hunt. But he has no foot and now he's up. He lost six seconds. You don't want to lose a single second with this civilization when you are playing against Malai. So he needs to explore. And if he see this, he needs to kill it. Because if he's not doing... It is very bad. It is very, very bad. Yeah, now he needs to explore this area. And finding the dog is a big step. But he's not finding the dog. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Let's see what he's going to do. He's mining gold. He's not doing a barrack. And he's starting to wall all the map. Thank you. Thank you for that. This is very good for ACCM 
if he find it because even with Malai, it's slower 20 seconds it's slower 20 no <laughs> man unbelievable really unbelievable man i i i he's not exploring the damn lake and when he was going to be there he's just going back incredible man really incredible all right so mbl the domination we'll take the water guys we'll take the water amigos he has three fishing ships he won't do any galley yeah oh he's doing another fishing ship okay guys this is what it is And it's crazy. It's really crazy. Yeah. He's doing a fire galley. Well, ACCM is not doing anything. He has no barrack. He's gonna lose the fish. He's doing another dog. Yeah. Okay. Well, disaster. Oh! He's doing a fire galley. He's doing a fire galley now. Surprise me, man. That surprised me a lot. Well, if you have both areas with the water and you wall at home, then you're fine. Then you're really, really fine, actually. Okay. And the fire galley is here. But yes, also. Yeah, the spear. And he last, he sent the villier away. So now he's gonna do a demo. Yeah, well, that fire galley is in the hell. Yeah, MBL play better. MBL playing better. Doing the mill, taking the deers, and doing another fire galley, but he can't. He's housed. He's busy doing many, many stuff at the same time, and that's cost him a lot. Idle TC now already 40 seconds. Also, the Navy is being idle, so he's losing the fish. And all these details matter in these mixed maps. Few farmers, Malai, now with three villages more, he's gonna lose all the fish, so he's gonna be ahead, really, really ahead with the economy. Those two fishing ships are almost bye-bye. He's sending a scout. He has his spears, okay? The scout is what surprised me with Malai. But well, he has army. Well, SCM doesn't have any army, guys. He's starting to play defensive. You start to play defensive against ACC, against MBL. Good luck. Good luck, amigo. He's doing now the RT range. While SCM just spears the barrack. Okay. Yeah. Two Fargalis are now doing fish. It's true that he has the fish here in this area. That helps a lot, actually. But he's, he's losing a lot here. So, oh boy. He has to be careful and he's paying attention to everything. I like it. Finally, an archery range. So he's gonna do some army. He has to make army. Definitely he has to make army. Echo KD, ACCM lost three. The advantage is, is there for, for MBL. He has four villages more and that matters a lot. Even more with this situation that he did another dog and he's still behind by quite a lot. Well, three villages actually. It's just the villages, not the fish. Okay. This is a demo and uh, more hunt there or not. I'm surprised he could have made the mill in the middle, I believe. Or it will take everything, I don't know. I don't know. Spears are coming. The archers are there. He's gonna send the archer too. Yes. But fletching? No fletching at all. Okay. And there's an archer, man. But another archer is coming. This is good now for ACCM. This micro is good. Not anymore. Look at the archers, guys. The archers. The archers. The archers. The archers. The archers, man. The archers is huge. Now doing the fletching. Is there with the fire galleys. Oh, well. That was a really good move by ACCM when he was really, really, really busy. He just put the galleys here and now the fish is gonna be gone. Obviously, he's full wall and now the village numbers are getting closer. The economy for MBL, better. That for sure, 500 food. Still now the plasmid, but you have to be careful, he has a Salam lot of farms. High, bro. 
A lot of farms. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for the soup. Hello to you too. And the double RT range, this amount of farmers gives a lot of constant food. Yeah. 12 farmers. Five farmers here. Okay. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, ACCM, it's in some problems. Well, not that much. Look at the food here. There's two scouts here that he's going to try to break in, but he can't. And now he's sending the archers, both with fletching. The archers are going to make some damage here, but he's fully wall. Remember, guys, that the game is so important, even more for, for MBL, because if he's losing, he's not going to qualify it. Obviously, ACCM wants to finish here. You don't want to go for a decider, but guys... The timing, the momentum now, well, both are going to go up. Malai speed up is just crazy. You can see they are clicking up both. He's doing a tower. He didn't even explore. He didn't even find the goal. So he's fine. But he doesn't know. He's going to take a Valir? No, he's not. He's not taking anything. At least he's denying the wood. Both are up. Gold mine and upgrade. And population ACCM with three villages more. Not not in villages to be to be to be real to be realistic, right? 43, 41. Well it's five fishing ships, guys. It's the fish. Now he's gonna find the goal. This is very good. Because if you're gonna raid at some point, you can find the goal here where there's a tower. Now he's coming with some scout. The archers are coming too. He will have to micro. Okay, well that scout is really low HP, so kill it. Got it. That was a sloppy by MBL. And now he's gonna join the, the galleys. Joining the galleys, they can't do anything. Really anything. Transition, we will see. Resources for MBL, pretty sick. Look at the wood. He's gonna do university right away. And ballistic is just gonna be epic. Bloodlines. He's gonna go knights. He's going full knights. I like this. Going full knights. I mean, it's not like I like that he's going knights. I like that one player is going one army and the other... One completely different, you know. But I don't know if he will have a great economy to afford this. Well, he has more villages, it seems. 14 on food, 7 on gold. So it's similar. But the village idol, man, you have to fix that faster, man. Really, really faster. And the crossbows are coming. He cannot see it because he never... You can't see... Oh, man. He hit the house. Well, that helps. That really helps. But Tone Watch, man, never been... Done. Okay, crossbows. Crossbow upgrade. He has eight archers, but he has 14. Uh, he preferred to go knights. I think knights is the way to go. Even more when your opponent is going to have ballistic chain bar and armor. I like more that option. Yeah, he can see that he cannot compete with the archers he has. And if he's doing ballistic now and he's going to make it, the knights plus two is just amazing. Really amazing. Probably they are more expensive. How many knights is going to be able to do with, with, the, with these upgrades? That's the thing. We don't know. We really don't know. It's not moving. Probably trying to be together. And Malai doing a second TC. He has 49 villages, AC, ACCM 48. But ACCM is doing a great tone center here covering gold and stone. Tone watch. Love it. The archers in the hell. And those knights with the plus two. Step lancers and knights. Well, step lances lonely are trash, but if you are combined with knights plus two, they can help a lot. They can really help a lot. We're gonna see right now, blue is gonna be able to catch up. Look at the crowbars going, the TC is not gonna be up in time, but the knights are coming. He can see those and now he's gonna take those crossbows for sure. He has to, he needs to go back with the lancer. Just don't put in front, as you can see. Another knights with the total domination. Ballistic is amazing, but those knights and crossbows are going to be down. Yes, they're going to be bye-bye. The mobility, man. The mobility is really good. TC is going to be up. 
Yes, in a moment. Population, very similar. Obviously more army for MBL. And now more TCs as well. I don't know if booming... Oh, man. Oh, man. Always sending villains lonely. What is he doing, man? Eh. These players are always doing the same mistake. Always the same mistake. Now he delete the house, which is great. Because now he delete the house, he still lose the villains. And he can go in if he want. You know? The reactions are very, very slow. And... Doesn't make any sense to me to send Villiers lonely. Where he was sending the Villiers? He got Villiers on the berries, and then he lost four Villiers. Now he's already eight lost. Yeah, well, MBL with three Villiers more, it's on the way to probably force a decider. Why? Three TCs and more army, and now gonna lose all this army as well. With Botkin and Ballistic, the Knights are going to the damn hell. Yeah, it's walling, man. It's walling. And he's killing many, many, many HP from those. Can I kill it? One down. Even two? Oof. Almost. Almost. The Lancer will kill those. It's awkward how, how far they are, right? But, well, they have the range, so it's fine. He took it. And need to move now. The Knight still has the mobility. You can raid. But, guys... Four villains behind is not a lot, I agree. MBL, guys, is not having a great macro. He's having good decisions on the Knights, but... Oh, man, great job there by MBL. Amazing how he walled it. Look at the idle TC, guys. ACCM is still in the game because he has 50 seconds idle time. 50 seconds idle time. It's not about Malai. It's about what MBL is doing with them. With a lot of farming. While ACCM has few units sending... Lonely all the time and like that they won't do anything at all you know at all okay more lances are coming let's see if now he's gonna be able to kill because he's raiding here and this is the right moment where you can raid and maybe the opponent not gonna notice but he did and now he's gonna lose a valir it's not gonna kill anything man maybe one okay he kill it now because he's one range you know, because he's one range. If not, he will then kill it. Another crossbows? Yeah. Imagine a demo here. All the fish and devil is gone. Look at the Echo KD, guys. Echo KD is just in another level. If you take this tower, maybe it's gonna be able to, well, to put the things a little bit even. This is two nice and two lances. He doesn't want to go with six crossbows, or you might lose them. Or maybe not, he has the tower there, so maybe just hit him back, hit him back. It's what he's trying now, and... Let me drink some water, guys. <sighs> All right. He is still booming. You know, he's busy booming. This is the thing. He idle TC. He never forget to do Villiers. But man, control the damn army. Just look at the KD. You know, his KD is disaster because he's taking terrible fights. And the Lancers is like a joke. Guys, this is the 2-2, two, 90% two. right now. Why? MBL has 5 villains more. He has 34 army and check his economy. MBL is just coming back from the hell. He's almost the 2-2 two, two already. Yeah, this is exactly how it is. It's exactly how it is. And he's gonna go up to Imperial. You see that the villains numbers is the same. So MBL is just playing in this, in the previous game and in this one, fantastic. And he's what you call in a total domination mode activated. Yeah. I mean, he's up to Imperial while ACCM is on the way to nothing. He has killed a lot more units. Also 12 villages. It's over, guys. It's over. And we're going to have a Desider. Yeah. A Desider. And you know what? I feel that... I don't know, man. Did this players just are 2 zero ahead and it feel that they feel the pressure somehow just say ccm played differently and now never attack you know defending 
sloppy play, and NBL just the opposite. I'm 2-0 behind, I'm gonna lose. That cannot happen. I'm going to go and dominate, you know? And this is what he's doing. Why Lancer instead of Knights? Uh, Good question. Hard question, actually. Okay. More troubles coming. And now when he has the Arbol is Imayan. Imayan. Yeah, he's in Imperial, man. The score difference is insane. And now, hopefully, ACCM is not gonna stay in the game another 20 minutes. Because this is typical from him. He's completely dead. And then he's staying in the game 20 minutes more. And for me, I don't know what you think, but it's impossible that he can come back. Trebuchet, take the TCs. Arbalens plus three. Well, like, how do you stop this? How? I don't know, man. I really don't know. Well, he has 111 bullies. He's doing a castle at home. Like I told you, he's about to go up to Imperial. But then, if MBL just make Arbalest and uh, take those TCs, he can go take the castle. Yeah, the advantage is really big, if you ask me. Really, really big. He has one relic, okay. And he lost both... Both Lancers. What is he doing with those four relics? I don't know. Anyway, he's, start to, he's gonna start to kill a lot of villiers. Score difference is insane. And... Well, he has no defense, guys. He's moving villiers. Yes, he's moving villiers. But zero army. MBL. Ooh, MBL. What's that you doing, MBL? Ay, ay, ay. Well, MBL is sleeping again, amigo. MBL is sleeping. Sleeping a lot. Villiers on the TC and then you kill those. MBL. Okay, guys. They are doing peas. White flag, guys. White flag. Look. AFK, man. <laughs> and now... And now he called the GG. Why he called the GG now? Okay, guys. He's a respectful player for sure. Now that he killed all the archers. And then he is not taking the villages. He say, MBL is AFK. So, I have to be... Fair with him, a nice, and call the GG. Is the explanation. Why GG now? I don't know. But it's 2-2, and we're going to see the decider. Unbelievable, guys. Statistics. Military. 7157. Economy. 3,000 more resources. You know? For MBL. And... Uh, Almost same list. But honestly, in this game, I think MBL dominated from the start till the end. No chance for a CCM. And now, in a decider, who is favorite? <laughs> Not me. Look at this, guys. Look at this. My goodness. 2-2, two, two, guys. Do you think Lawler they will subscribe to my channel? Explain then why. Because this channel is in another level, man in another level and the map would not see a start but very slow because well i gave some suggestion to this map they didn't listen to this map i say this map like this is very slow and can be in my opinion unfair you know if you don't find some spot some resources right i say them if you give six villages a start can be powerful, very nice, smoother, and also a horse. Just to explore, man. Because if not, this is like Nomad, but weaker. Because the water is what? In the oh, middle? Oh, yeah. You know, in the middle? Ay, ay, ay. Lawler, thank you, man, for the four subscribers gift. Awesome. Really, really awesome. Okay. And then the game is going to be very, very slow. And you have to explore with villiers. 
right? You have to explore with Vilis. He has the berries here, MBL. Let's see ACCM. They played a lot. A lot. Uh, this not this year start. I mean, Nomad. But Mining Stone, this is bad. This is bad, man. Why his Mining Stone? He do not notice, man. Mining Stone, it is really bad. Hopefully he's gonna notice and move fast. He is. And he has now another one. And need to explore and find the elephant. He's lucky and finding the elephant. I want you to tell me, guys, what civilization you prefer. Persians or Malians? Because this map, like, I don't know. Gonna go Knight's Camels, going Fast Castle, what is going to be? As I told you, very slow. Because we are in minute four and well, lower population yet they have to explore a lot with the with the water buffaloes and uh well this this fish is giving a lot to accm for sure and this is the same to mbl good thing for mbl look at the elephant so close berries as well and he's now exploring with a valier try to find more resources as you can see that's why really a horse is needed a horse is needed because if not it's and you might say, well, Nomad is like this. A horse is needed too in Nomad. <laughs> well, but Nomad now is like more balanced than it was before. I don't know a lot about this map. We can analyze, but uh, there's resources all over. But uh, you may not, you, you just don't find the elephants, you know. It's not about the skills, it's about luck. Because you don't know where the... the the elephant is going to be. And since you have to send Villiers, it's difficult, you know. There's one here in the middle, another one on the left. He has another here. Wow. ACCM has found everything. A lot. Really, really a lot. But MBL is already ahead. Not anymore. Okay. Three fishing ships. Another thing that is important. How far is the fish from, from the dock? How far it is? It is important too. What? A house in the TC? My goodness. Okay, he's doing the loom. Probably he's gonna try to, to bring more elephants that are far. And now he's gonna find an older. Yeah, need to go with the villager. Oh man! You see? Is this about the skills? Not really, man. Yeah. It's just about luck. It's real luck, man. Aye, aye, aye. Ay ay ay. Okay. Well, MBL didn't find that one. Another house and population. Now I see him ahead. Not by much, but ahead. That will change with Persians in Feudal Age. TC is working faster. Don't dinner Donny, man. Thank you so much, amigo. Mr. Don't dinner Donny. Has been a while we didn't talk. Awesome. Really, really awesome. Okay. Well, he's doing the Lambrican. The game is getting closer to that stage where they have to go up. I don't, and I don't know if you agree with me that this map is a very slow map and that will need a little bit of those change, you know? Like, no matter what, it's, uh, it's gonna take a while because we are 23 population and it's still not happy in nine minutes, you know? Yeah. And nothing will happen in the in first 12 minutes at least, you know? Yeah. Okay. He's gonna make now a mining camp and ACCM is gonna do what? Galleys? Well, he has explored the dock. This is better for ACCM, better exploration than the MBL. So let's see what he's going to do. Both players are going up more or less at the same time, but ACCM with same village but two fishing ships. He's gonna make another dock and MBL as well. So they are going to go for this 
fish, a little fish. It's annoying. And also with galleys, you can annoy the TC here, not to blue. So I prefer a little bit easier in position, but Persians being faster up, amazing economy. Oh man, you will see dogs produce faster, TC produce faster. It's difficult, man. It's difficult. He's gonna make a third dog, blue. Ooh, would be crazy. And Biel is doing galleys. I wonder what Blue is going to do. Probably fire galleys. Yeah. I think it's better to do fire galleys now. You are behind. The opponent is going to be a little bit faster. So you need something to counter those. Then maybe after you go for the galleys. But fire galleys now is the right call in my opinion for ACCM. Who's walling a little bit here. Gonna wall all this area. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Because we see now only water. Amazing to have only water again. I love it, as you all know. Love it! But red, MBL, doesn't know where the opponent is. And he's not trying to go. Oh my goodness. My goodness! Yeah, in close water, fire galleys is better. But if they don't attack and then he's able to mass galleys, be careful. Who is this? Eight moons, let's go. Vamos! Vamos, amigo! Let's go, let's go! Three fishing ships, you have to be careful. Okay. Now four galleys here. Scribby, eight moons. Thank you so much. I don't know if he's gonna keep doing now. It's keep doing fire galleys. So you can see population now is better for MBL. He has recovery in villages. He's even ahead in village number now. And the map, zero action, guys. Zero action. A beautiful map to take a nap. But oh, let's see what is gonna happen now with the mill and taking the shortfish here. You have to be careful here. And well. We have to wait, guys. You know, guys, that I dislike the water a lot. And when you see a map like 80% is land, and then the only thing that we see is galleys. Oh! But he's coming with the galleys. And there's a demo, guys. There's a demo. The demo is going to make a massive damage, I believe. Yeah, he's playing good, man. That's a good one. Yes, great job by MBL. He has a lot of galleys now. Yeah, a lot of galleys now. Five galleys, seven galleys. Yeah, seven galleys, four galleys, and it's one spear, so in Mayan. Really, really in Mayan. Where's the spear, by the way? Oh, the artists are here. Nice. Well, now MBL is just doing the barrack now. But is this wall? This is open, guys. This is a hole. Yeah, but he has no galleys, guys. Or not an oath. We'll see. We'll see. Kill the fish, man. You have to kill the fish. Is he or not? Nah, he won't kill anything. He's doing fletching now. But MBL economy is on point. As you can see, good echo for MBL. Yeah, good economy, amigos. Okay. And this is RGD range. Okie dokie dokie dokie. Archie range is gonna go arches now. But the arches are here for ACCM. And with fletching, he might kill one. I believe so. A new, a new prime, Suomi. Nice. Where are you from, man? Okay, don't answer. Don't answer, man. It, it was a, a nice joke. Oh man, it's not going. It's open, man. It's open. It's stable. It's stable. Economy for, for MBL is better. Well, I think both civilizations are pretty even. They are very strong both. It depends a lot who is getting the water. But if the game is going closer, it's hard to say because Persian has a great economy. But for example, in mind that you are pushing with Malians and you got monks as well. Monks from Malians got redemption as well. They have good monks with siege. Yeah, this is open. He's doing another Lambrecam. But as I said, 
the economy for Persians is in another level. And his floating resources are ready to try to go up. I don't know why he's not taking that elephant, MBL, because that elephant will give him a lot of resources. Just go take the elephant on the TC. And seriously, it really seems that MBL is doing a reverse sweep. Yeah, ACCM won very strong the first two games. He did one of those strongest games, but for nothing. Because MBL, it's getting the game, I believe. If he's not doing damage, and he's not gonna do damage. What? Okay. Nice luring by MBL. Very nice, actually. A nice mill, even. Yeah. On the tree to don't be able to make farms there. Like it. I like it. Anyway, he has no food, guys. MBL has no food at all. And he's losing all the fish. So everything can change. And I know that he has the market. He might buy the resources. But now his economy is not the best. He's definitely not the best. It looks a good economy now for, for ACCM. That's why he's taking probably the score lead. Oh, boy. Oh, really, boy. That was very nice because... When you have so many galleys like MBL has, and then you are able to snipe the fish, it's a good job done. A really good job done. It was looking that he was going to be able to up to castle, but suddenly it's not happening anymore. Two towers in the same spot. For real? Okay. Really, really okay. And now I don't know who has the advantage anymore. Like... MBL 2 on food only. Is the two farmers gonna be the third? That's terrible economy, you know. While his opponent has a lot better echo. You know? Berries, farmers, he has hunters as well. I mean, seriously. If we take the elephant, oh boy. Anyway, we will see. Because Persian Echo, it, it just changed very fast. Now he's taking the, the, the hunt here with the, those elephant. Elephant in the house and another RG range. But the resources are getting closer. The transition to castle is going to be very important. The KD now has changed a lot. CCM has killed seven villages, well, only five MBL. It's true that the total KD is better for, it, for MBL, but killing economy matters a lot, even more at this stage of the game. MBL is going around with those arches, not doing too much, but man, Persian's echo is crazy. It's crazy, man. Sekonarchi range and MBL, it's on the way to Castle Age in a moment. If he's dropping the food, obviously. He's up. He's up. It's not too far, Blue. It's really not too far, but we have seen how important is the timing, the momentum. And in Persians, the TC become even stronger for Persia. So, let's see. Mining a lot of Elizabeth Stone, a lot of gold. But Blue is unable now to do more damage anymore. He's doing another tower. Very annoying. Very, very annoying that he has the market. Yes, he has. So go up, amigo. He has to go up, man. Yeah, he's doing a tower. I like it a lot, that tower. That will be a very annoying one. So he's going to deny it. ACCM is clicking up in a moment. But mm, I'm not sure. It's true that the MBL has no echo and not even a stable, right? That he has a stable? No. MBL does have a stable. He has seven archers. His economy is at the limit. Maybe he will have the resources to make crossbow. But it looks better economy by quite a lot by ACCM. I don't know, man. The game is very close. A guy in sending village lonely. It happens before. And he started to lose the previous game. So let's see what is going to happen now. Archers. A few archers. Of course, Colin and... Oof. Yeah, more arches too. More arches too. This is a villain that is being on the tower, is recovering HP, remember? Now let's see, man. Castle Age there. Still ACCM with the score lead. So he's gonna get that really boost of his confidence when he see that in Castle Age now. MBL won't have too much to do. But what MBL is doing is. Boom, 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 boom. One problem here now for ACCM. If you're going to push the town center, good luck pushing up 4,800 HP. You know, really good luck. He has double his table, as you can see. But you really need to do damage. He has one, two, three towers. 
and with Botkin right now. You know, Botkin Arrow. You think it's for the archers? Well, probably yes, but even more for the towers. And Blue again, that he has a... The Tone Watch? Mm, I'm not sure. It looks like it's better now. Oh my god. Almost save by the bell. Save it by the bell. Yeah, I'm not sure if he has tone, tone watch. The arches are coming. This is a tone center. Oh my god. He's saving the day here. If he was sending the arches, my goodness. Crossbow and Botkin are right now. He has a siege workshop and where's the knights? No knights. There's no, literally no resources for anything right now. No resources for anything. Yeah, that doesn't have tone watch. Because now when he comes with the archers, you're gonna get destroyed, seriously. 2 TC for both, and they are not taking any risk. Pop, the, 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 the game very close. So who's gonna get the advantage here? Well, the first that he's gonna raid, and that's gonna be NBL. Town watch is huge, because look at now the archers, he's gonna attack or not? He's not attacking, well, but ACC and reaction again. It's so slow, guys. It is really slow. He has been there 10 seconds and never reacted. It is very slow. I'm sorry, but it's my opinion. You know? And he took two villages more. That shouldn't happen. And all the TC here and sending the villages lonely with arches all over the map. Yeah. The TC here is great, but what about this area? It's completely unprotected. If he's coming now with more archers, he's, he's in a very bad position. Now we see the arches here. Oh, man. But let's see MBL. MBL also not gonna see. Oh, my God. Well, MBL, MBL reaction. Also, no reaction by MBL. MBL, oh, my God, MBL. Well, well, well. Losing a lot here. He's gonna lose also here as well. He's not losing that many. But MBL lost a lot of villains in this area. MBL has lost a lot. Eight villains with these crossbows. Wow. He lost everything. And now MBL is in a really rough position. Really, really rough position. Don't, but move the villiers, man. He didn't lose anything. The knights are coming, and they will kill the skirms, but not those crossbows. The knights got all the bloodlines. But these crossbows, holy moly, the scout is there. Not letting him make the DC. Look at the scout, guys. I gotta tell you like this, because MBL do not notice. Now look at this DC. It's not happening. <laughs> Well, he's now noticing and he's gonna take the scout. He's going to go back and look at these crossbows here. All right. Yeah, he's, he's, he's difficult. It's very difficult. More crossbows are coming. And that's already painful. Scale bar in armor, still more army for MBL. Persian's economy can still recover, you know? Well, if he's not killing more. Because now we see three scorpions. And the scorpions are about to come to take all this. But now three knights. You need to come with the knight. Because when the knight has come, what happened, guys? What happened when the knight has come? Shall I put it? No, this is a professional casting. I'm not gonna put the, the song, okay, guys? Professional casting, S tier tournament, qualification. No. Echo KD is solid for ADCM. It's double right now. It's really double, but man. The TC is now perfect and good reaction, finally. Good reaction. This map seems so hard to expand. Well, I'm not sure it's that hard to expand. The map is huge, it's immense. The thing is that ACCM made the tower and he's here with the stable, you know? And that's why it's hard to expand. There's more crossbows here. And now ACCM with more army, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable or not, but the reverse sweep is not happening. ACCM is now in a good, no, in a very, very good position. Tenville is more and double the army. So, if he's not finishing now the game, when is going to be? Another tower to be more and more annoying. Oh boy, he's coming with the knights and crossbows. And he has to go. He can go because there's nothing to defend right now. And with the knights, the scorpions are going to the damn hell. As you're going to see in a moment. Look at those knights, guys. He's gonna make it or not. He will. Guys... ACCM, it's in the main event. I don't know if, that, if this is too spoiled, but now he's really doing a great job. He's killing the siege, he's killing these villages. And with this knight and crossbows, it's just killing a lot. 20 villages kill, MBL 
is now in problems. He's gonna take the night. He lost another Valir, but 20 kill kills are Valirs, man. 20 Valirs killed. And more crossbows. He's being really active now. ACCM. Here, he's gonna lose a ram. He has the ram here, but the knight is there with the crossbows. Oh, boy. And now the tower will kill crossbows as well. Wow. Just wow. Oops, be careful. The ram is gonna go to the hell. Got it. And that tower is killing crossbows. Yeah, he's gonna try to kill that tower with villains. But in this spot, with knight and crossbows, it's just, it's just kill him, man. Kill him. But ACCM, don't lose so many units. Don't lose so many units. Yeah, resources for ACCM are looking good. He has 88 villages. Well, more than the resources, the, the farmers, the villages on gold. Much better than MBL. Population is close. Yes, because MBL got a little bit more army, but the Scorpions are going through. What the hell? This is annoying, man. Very annoying. But where's the knight? Where's the knight? Stone to make a castle. Where's the knight? Don't eat the TC. Don't eat the TC. Oh boy. Guys, this series has been extremely long. I think we are already with almost three hours. Well, it's not three hours because they started late. Two hours and a half. But this is, is a long series for sure. Well, it's a decider and the games are not being really quick. So we have a caster here with Chainbard and Armor. Oh boy. Oh, really, boy. As you can see, guys, well, next series is going to be Jordan and Sito. And that's going to happen after this game. You know, Jordan and Sito is the next series in the channel. Who is the favorite in that one? Well, we will have time to talk, but this should be a great series too. Right or not? Heavy Plow, Chain Barden Armor, and the Knight is going to around. He has a good economy, guys. He has all the upgrades. I, I really believe that... Uh, ACCM should never lose this game. Also, he's in that comfortable area where he just have a great economy. He's keep raiding now with the Knights, plus two. Taking the Bang Arnold, killing more villains. He's over, guys. He's over. ACCM is in the main event. MBL will have to play the next weekend. And that's it. Because right now, ACCM keep with a good performance. And winning a play like MBL, where everyone was giving him as a favorite, I was skeptical. I was expecting a close series, to be honest. You know, and I was skeptical. I was telling that ACCM is solid, guys. It's solid. Still, it's missing that small thing to make him go into the next level. But it's able to win many of the players. And he's proving it again. He's on the way to Imperial with 117 villains, while MBL has 84 villains. So ACCM is on the way to Imperial, while MBL is on the way to nothing. Because right now, it should be impossible. Just go Cavaliers and Farimba, and it's total and brutal domination in this decided game. What was the difference? The rating. The game was very close, and who rated more and in, in the, in the, at the right time, it took a huge advantage. And from there, the game has a snowball. ACCM has killed 35 villages, man. 35 villages, you know? The information that I have about Doubt, Viper, and so on is that they are on holidays. And since they are not a qualifier, they will try the next weekend. But you never know how the qualifiers are going to be. You never know how the brackets are going to be. So imagine now that the Viper and Doubt are in the same brackets. One will qualify it, not both. So, well, is what it is. Is what it is. We will see the next weekend. It will be interesting. We will have two qualifiers. The next weekend is another qualifier. And the Viper, Doubt, will be there. That's my information, you know? Yeah. Anyway, let's see, guys. Let's see. Score difference for ACCM is really, really big. The problem here for MBL is that his opponent is up to Imperial, and he probably doesn't expect this. Those knights are plus two, plus two. He should go back. Why he's trying to attack now? I don't understand this. Just go home, make the upgrades, and kill with the Imperial battle, with the Imperial army. 
And Biel always try hard a lot. But now, he can't do the job. He has a hundred Villiers. This is Cavaliers GG. Well played, congrats. And ACC M, it's there in the main event and did the job. Well, MBL can do it. ACCM, it's in the main event. Oh boy. Oh, really, boy. Well, not surprising. This game need a lot of a lot of preparation and practice. And I'm sure that ACCM is one of those players that prepare and practice the most. If MBL is was in his best shape, probably MBL will be a favorite. I was going to say very, really, really favorite, but just favorite, right? And probably he will win the series. But I don't think, I mean, if MBL has played great in Battle of Africa, it's not the same one by one that team games. I don't know if you agree, guys. Guys, ACCM with the spot in the main event. Thumb up on YouTube, amigos.